Hello everyone, welcome to Infigar. In this video of algebraic challenging equations, we are going to solve an interesting quartic equation 4x power 4 minus 20x cube plus 13x square equal to 1. I am going to demonstrate two methods, okay? Two approaches, not method exactly, but two approaches. Let me consider the given equation as fx. So 4x power 4 minus 20x cube plus 13x square minus 1 equal to 0. Find out f dash x derivative 16x power 3 60x square 26x equal to 0. Let me take 2x common. 8x square minus 30x plus 13 equal to 0. Now I will conclude few results. From this term we can write x is equal to 0 and from this quadratic equation we have to find out the value of x. How we can consider? See 26 plus 4 is 30. I am going to split the central term. This term I am going to split. So 4 plus 26. Okay, so that would be 30. And if you will check the product, then it is equal to 13 times 8104. So let me split the central term. So I will write minus 4x minus 26x. You can apply quadratic formula also. Plus 13 equal to 0. I will take 4x common. What is left? 2x minus 1. And here I will take 13 common, minus 13, minus 13 common, so 2x minus 1. So what is left? 2x minus 1, 4x minus 13. Check the values, x is equal to half and 13 over 4. So there are three points. but we are not sure about that whether they are solution of the cubic equation or not. We have only find out the critical points. So let us do one thing. First, let me write the equation again. Let me show you what I am trying to demonstrate. 20x cube plus 13x power 2 minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. This is our constant coefficient. And this is our leading term coefficient 4. So let us find the factors in terms of rational root theorem context. Okay. Let me write here rational root theorem. Okay. So I will get plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4. Constant term plus minus 1. If I will find out eligible solution or possible solutions, then I will write the constant over the leading ratio. So I will get plus minus 1, plus minus 1 over 2, plus minus 1 over 4. My point is out of 6 eligible roots, you can take the derivative in this manner. You can cut short its degree by 1 by forming cubic equation by taking derivative and then we will find out roots. Out of these three roots x equal to 0 we can exempt, exclude. Why? We cannot consider it. We ultimately we, long division method you are going to divide by that. So you cannot consider x equal to 0. Denominator cannot be 0. So out of possible two values we can pick which one is the right solution. So the eligibility, I am cutting short it. That's it. So x is equal to half, if you will check, it is satisfying the equation. f1 by 2 equal to 0. You can check. Okay. Now let us find out the solution. So I will consider x is equal to half. Let me write all the coefficients of quartic equation. 4, minus 20, 13, 0, 
negative 1. Take 1 to left hand side, so minus 1. Put one line over there, leading coefficient as it is 4, half times 4, 2, minus 18, half times minus 18, minus 9, 4, half times 4, 2, 2, half times 2, 1, 0. So our cubic equation is 4x cubed minus 18x square plus 4x plus 2 equal to 0. Now one root is confirmed x is equal to half and this is your cubic equation 1 degree is smaller than quartic. Now what I will do I will check again using synthetic uh, rational root theorem. So if you will check again you can find out you can write here these having eligible factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2. The leading coefficient having eligible factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4. Now take the ratio. So overall you are having number of eligible solutions. So plus minus 1 plus minus 1 over 2 plus minus 1 over 4 and so on. Okay. Last eligible factor is plus minus 2. Now again if you will check f of half is 0. So I am taking directly x is equal to half. Let's write all the coefficient of the cubic equation. Minus 18, 4, 2. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is 4. Let me write here half also. Because that is again one solution out of these eligible solutions. 4 would be as it is half times 4, 2, minus 16, half times minus 16, minus 8, minus 4, half times minus 4 is minus 2, 0. So what is left? One quadratic equation. 4x square minus 16x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, if I will divide by 4, x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve this equation. Let me write that equation, x square minus 4x minus 4 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula this time. Minus b, 4 plus minus b square, 16 minus 4 ac, so plus 4 over 2a, 2. 4 plus minus root 20 over 2. 4 plus minus 2 root 5 over 2. And if you will divide by 2, it will come out 2 plus minus root 5. So 4 real solutions are x is equal to 2 plus minus root 5. x is equal to half with multiplicity 2. Means it is repetitive root. Okay, so four roots are there. If you want to verify, you can put. Let me put x equal to. Let me write here. Verification, and I am checking for x is equal to half. Let's put the value four times one over two power four minus twenty one over two power three plus thirteen. 1 over 2 power 2, it should come out 1. So let us begin with LHS. 4 times 1 over 16 minus 20, 1 over 8 plus 13, 1 over 4. So I can cancel this by 4. Here I will cancel 5 and 2. So what is left? 1 over 4 minus 5 over 2 plus 13 over 4. So it will become 14 over 4 minus 5 over 2. We can write this 14 over 4 minus 10 over 4. So it is 4 over 4 which is 1 and which is our RHS. So x is equal to half is verified. The two solutions are 
irrational you can see root 5 is there i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye for now till next video good luck